to see it. But then it also brings me back to reality that it's not, it's still not okay yet. Controversy overtaking an event at a state university library. UA Fort Smith's library is where drag queen story time will be taking place tomorrow. The post has caused social media firestorm from some state senators. Care for us, Caitlin Reardon has details on this. And Caitlin, a lot of talk about this one. Yes, Bob and Ashley. Well, the event is billed as a way to de-stress before tests, and the guest reader will be Miss Chloe Jacobs, a drag queen from Little Rock. But it doesn't sit well with at least one state senator. I need you big time. By day, Evan Jacobs is a hairdresser. I gotta go to Fort Smith, so I won't be here late. But on weekend nights, he transforms into drag queen Chloe Jacobs, Miss Gay Arkansas 2018. My platform this year is Arkansas Suicide Prevention. As a way to be part of the community in the state he is from, Evan was asked to read books for a drag queen story hour, taking place at the University of Arkansas Fort Smith's library Friday. Kind of a, something fun for them to do and different and... I think they're just trying it out to see how it goes. On Tuesday, Arkansas Senator Jason Rapert shared the event on his official Facebook page, along with a message about his disapproval, reading in part, quote, I apologize to the citizens of Arkansas for the ridiculous waste of taxpayer funds by UAFS for promoting this rubbish. I certainly do not support it. Senator Bob Ballinger also speaking in opposition. You know, I, I think it's a, I think it really is a, an effort to desensitize people from, you know, the norms of what, what would be traditional values and ideas that, that frankly is fundamental to making uh, our, our country great. The University of Arkansas at Fort Smith released a statement addressing the controversy saying this event was coordinated by a registered student organization on our campus and no university or taxpayer dollars were used to bring the speaker to the storytime event. So I don't understand where, where this is all coming from. He agreed to the event to celebrate diversity, tolerance and acceptance and as a way to include those who might not usually be included. We're people too. If it was me as Evan, you'd never hear about this, but as Chloe, you're seeing it. Now, when I reached out to Senator Jason Rapert for his comment on this event, he sent me a statement reading in part, I have read reports that indicate these events are specifically held to groom young children to embrace LGBTQ lifestyles. The vast majority of people in Arkansas and America disagree. And of course, for his full statement and that story, you can go to our website, krk.com. Bob and Ashley.